Hi guys, I have set up this scene today and here these red particles colliding with this skeleton animated mesh and then the particles are sticking with that mesh when colliding and this is uh, someone asked on the forum of Unreal Engine if this is possible to stick particle on a moving surface after collision so I just did a test and here's the video let's start this video how I created this hey guys so I have found another question on Unreal Engine forum and this guy asking if this is possible to stick particles to a moving surface after collision such as skeleton mesh so we can do that uh, with static mesh you know but for with the skeleton mesh this is new for me also so let's try a hand in it what i can do i hope i can solve this issue so let's start this so first thing uh, i have already downloaded this walking animation so we will use this from examo okay and i'll just import it so i will just make a new folder here anim and then here i will import from the download walking okay so if i take a new label i can just drag this here and i can play it will be animated but i don't want to play it from here every time so what i'll do i'll just delete it from the from here and i'll make a label sequence just open this i'll just this window here and then i will drag this animation into the sequencer and then we can just connect the animation here now we can play from here okay so we don't need to play the game and to make it loopable you can just you can stretch this also uh, increase this but i will just make the timeline shorter so it will just load this part only let's make the lighting little darker stop it and make it oh my num lock is off okay and i don't want this thing okay so i want to collide particles with it so let's save all first i want to save this map so i'll just save it in the same folder and this is collision underscore sk and i'll just save here my map i'll put the files on patreon for free of course so you can download and check so i have this let's make a new niagara i'll not make anything uh, like complicated i'll put a simple particles i'll just collide them so let's collision sk okay and i'll just take a new fountain here so basically i'll delete the velocity and in the shape i'll use box planar and i'll use planar and let's make them red so it will be visible properly okay so we have red particles falling down and that's it so let's drag that system into the sequencer and i'll just move it little up so they can fall on the character cool let's see if yeah character is starting from where the particle so i want these particle collide with the character stick with it and when character is moving here so when the character is here this colliding particle should be stick on the surface of this okay so let's make the lighting a little more darker yeah that's it that's fine all right ready so in this first let's add a collision okay and let's check the default setting so it's colliding with the ground and bouncing and also if you'll notice it is colliding with the character i don't want to collide it with the ground for now we will just check it for it so i'll just turn off the collision of ground okay so i'll just make this no collision so now particle not colliding with the ground you can see they are just going down but they are colliding with the character but they are not sticking even if you make the bounce zero bounce and make the friction high they will not do that so let's do something else 
So what we can do, let's, these are red particles and I'll just duplicate the emitter and I'll call this green. So these green particles will spawn where the red particle is spawning, uh, sorry, colliding. So what I'll do, first thing, I'll change the color of this. Let's make this 10. And I don't want to spawn red. I don't need this, 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 and call this one. Instead, in the red, I'll set a generate a collision event. Okay. And you need to tick here persistent ID. Then in the green, I'll use the event handler. And here, I'll use the collision event spawn. Let's make one particle or two particles, whatever you want. And then receive collision. So if you'll notice now, we have some green particles which is spawning at the same place the red particles colliding so, but they are not moving with the character they should move also so what we can do uh, so what you can do let's add a skeleton mesh location in the green particle and here let's make this a test parent so when i'll Attach this particle system with the, the, the character. It should spawn. And I'll also make this surface triangle. And that's it. So what I'll do now. I'll go here and attach it with the walking. And then. So let's see what happened. If I play. The particle spawning. But it is here. Uh, on a zero. So let me check what I have done wrong here. So basically, yeah, everything is fine. Yeah, let me try it here. Particle still spawning there, but not following. So that I'll just move the, I'll just copy this also in the spawn, same parameter. Now, and also let's increase the spawn rate, maybe twenty, just to check. Okay. And in here, in the in the receive location, the receive collision. It is applying the position, so I will just make it output only. So I have set this output only. Let's also uh, connect the skeleton mesh here. So I'll just select this and I'll just connect here. You can, let's connect ports just to try. Yeah. So now when the particle colliding, they are spawning on the director, but they are spawning on the whole surface, not the area where it is colliding. So to check it, you can also, let's turn off this and let's add a curl noise. So particle behave randomly. So these random red particles now like this. So they should like collide this way and also spawn on this way same so that how it will match okay so how you'll do that so in the receive collision event i'm not using the position so i this is output only and in here i will use output only so here in the position i'll just use output only also here and let's make a Let's take a let's make a scratch pad and this will be check range. So check range means I will check if the red particle and green particle has the same position. Keep that alive, otherwise just kill them. So in this, this is here open. Let's open it a little bit. Oh my god. 
yeah so what i'll do let's take a position and this will be our, our skeleton position and let's take a position again and this will be our collision position and i'll just subtract from each other and check the length and if this length is less than some value and that value will be a parameter so range if they are within the range i want this thing they are alive otherwise they will die so now in this we have this two position and i don't know why this is yeah mm, my god so this is the collision position so collision position is actually the vector one if you see this is vector one you can also find it here if you don't find so you can just find here like collision and you will find the, these things let's increase this area a little bit so you have this vector one you can just drag it on your collision and then you need a skeleton position that is actually uh, the sample position sample skeleton position it's giving an error because we are using this collision before that so i'll just move it here okay and this is the range let's use 20 and see what happened i think in the here that's Let me just increase particle spawn a little more, maybe 50. And let's also use this. I'll just turn off the collision for now just to check. And let me check some settings. I'll show you. So now you can see I have changed something, but now it's not uh, like spawning the green particle on a whole body. It's just taking that area uh, when it's colliding and just spawning there. So basically what I did, I, I just changed this range. It is 20. I just check random ranges and nothing else. It is the same thing. Okay. And then I just move this little down and also just turn off the shape and I have curl noise. And you can make two, three particle like direction so in the curl noise you can just randomize this random sheet and we will have now two okay and you can make these green particle also red if you want so that will be good so now you have that okay so when they are colliding they are just sticking with it so it's a little hack i don't know if it can be usable for you or not but this is what i found for now if i found any other ways to do it i'll let you know i'll update my video i'll make another video so that's it bye bye